Hello! So I got all dressed up to do a video and I thought since I'm looking all spooky this might be a good time to do a little bit of tarot. So I'm just gonna spend a few minutes on each of the 12 signs. My uh, dog Lily might make an appearance. She's just uh, running around on the floor. Okay, I did already shuffle these, but let's get started. So this is going to be for Aquarius for the month of June. Let's see. Alright, interesting. Okay, so for your recent past you get the upside down butterfly. That to me represents you resisting change. There's a change coming in your life and you can't resist it any longer because your current energy is the moth. Now what this speaks of to me is you've been resisting change with this negative butterfly for so long that you've actually embraced a darker change than you were intending to. But don't worry, because your future is the dragon. The dragon's a powerful animal, but it's also known for its fire and flames. So what you might find is that you're especially wrathful coming into this change. You need to just mellow out. Keep it calm and embrace change that's coming towards you. Don't try to stop change or shy away from it because it, it can it can leave feelings inside of you that haven't been expressed and then that can lead to anger and then that can lead to wrath. So Aquarius, what's Aquarius's best advice? So for you we've got the hawk. So high, be yourself. The hawk also being an air based animal represents communication so I believe that by communicating whether this be with yourself or with other people honestly you can overcome whatever changes you're going through that you're resisting and not wanting to happen all right I hope that was helpful let's move on now to P Pisces so the month of June for Pisces Let's see. Okay. So Pisces, your recent past we have the upside down lamb. The lamb to me speaks of vulnerability. So Pisces, I don't think you've been feeling very vulnerable. <laughs> I think you've been feeling a bit predatorial, out there even. I think the lamb symbolises this sheep mentality, so you've been individual recently. Your current energy is the vulture. It's a scavengy energy, but it's also um, a, like a clever energy, you know? Vultures, they, they can sense prey from miles away. And I think that's, that's you at the moment. You've got this um, almost predator vision going on. You, you can smell the blood in the water. I don't know what it is that you're going after, but you're doing it with lethality. You're doing it successfully. And then for your future, you have the upside down starfish. Starfish to me talks of um, your emotional well-being and your individuality, your kind of weirdness, if that makes sense. So I think with this being upside down, you're shying away from your emotions and a part of you that you once were, some part of you that was a bit weird or you weren't very comfortable with, in order to embrace this predator mindset and really go after what you want. Okay, best advice for Pisces, you have upside down whale. So the whale talks of like grandeur. Again, it's water, so emotion and grandeur. So you need to not be over emotional. You need to be focused. You need to be, I think it's good for you actually being in this focused predator mindset. I think you have a tendency sometimes to be a bit moody, <laughs> maybe a bit overdramatic, 
So try and uh, try and make sure that you stay on track and that you're focused and that you're not being overwhelmed by emotion. Okay, let's move on now to Aries. Best advice. Aries. Gym. What have we got? Okay, let's have a look. Okay. So for Aries, you have, in your recent past, the upside down camel. So I think you've just been through a period of um, abundance. Um, I don't know what this abundance relates to. Maybe it's emotional abundance, maybe it's literal abundance, maybe you've had some payment come through or financially it's starting to look up for you. Possibly you just feel like you've got an abundance of support around you. But that's really nice, that's really positive. And then you have this upside down starfish. This has come up once before, so I think this symbolises, like I say, individuality and emotion. And I think right now what you're doing is you're turning your back on your individuality and your emotion. Now that's not to say that that's negative, that's just perhaps what you're doing right now. In the future, you have the whale. The whale is the correct way up, so I think your future entails grandeur and again, the whale is quite an emotional card. So becoming the master of your emotions, kind of walking into the place and being like, hey, Aries in the house, yo, what's up? Obviously with lockdown you might not be able to literally enter other people's houses, but you get the, the metaphor. <laughs> so best advice for Aries, what have we got? We've got the lion. So. That's courage, pride, really putting yourself out there and being yourself. Maybe that's what this upside down starfish is trying to communicate. Maybe you've been shying away from your true self and it's time to stop doing that and embrace who you are. Become this lion, become proud of being you. Okay, let's move on. Let's go now to Taurus. So, June for... Taurus, what have we got? Alright. Interesting. So in your in your recent past we have the cheater. Um the cheater can talk about literally cheating. <laughs> if uh if you've been putting something off or avoiding something or maybe just being a bit dishonest with another person or yourself. But the cheater also talks about um speed and forward momentum so perhaps you are being deceitful or perhaps you're wanting to go somewhere or have previously just gone somewhere i'm gonna pause the reading here and resume in a moment about that i've noticed that the uh i was about to run out of space and it would have stopped recording so that's that's the cheater so that's we've talked about that so then for your current energy we have the cobra in reverse so the cobra is obviously a very aggressive animal um it's been known to put up a fight and it can be quite deadly so your current energy is the opposite of that so maybe you're backing down from a fight or you're feeling backed into a corner you don't feel very aggressive you feel very passive and you're quite happy just to sit back and let anyone that wants a fight go and find one elsewhere and then your future energy is the bear the bear is a really horribly energy so maybe that ties into the cobra maybe you're not interested in a fight because you're safe and you're content at home you have everything you need where you are and you're not going out and looking for trouble all right let's go best advice for taurus let's see so you got the octopus so the octopus obviously has eight arms, legs, tentacles, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, and that to me talks about being multifaceted, being talented, having a range of strings for your bow, as it were. So try and diversify your skill set, try and learn something new or improve a skill that you've got. The octopus being a watery animal talks about emotion as well, so maybe it's not your literal skill set so much as your ability to cope with different emotions or something along those lines. Alright, hope that helped.
let's move on now to Gemini. I realise I'm kind of doing these in order. That works though. Helps me remember which ones I've done. <laughs> okay. Gemini. The month of June. Alright, let's see. Okay. This looks quite nice. So for your recent past, you have the horse. The horse talks about being hardworking. It talks about being a healer. Oh, possibly, Gemini. You are a key worker. In which case, thank you for your service. I hope Boris gives you a pay rise if you're from the UK. If not, I hope that you get more happiness. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, Possibly this is you. Possibly you're a key worker. Maybe not necessarily an NHS key worker. You could be, you know, a farmer or a bus driver. It doesn't really matter what you are. But whoever I'm connecting to right now, I feel, is working through this epi epidemic. And maybe that's tiring you out. You are, though, rest assured, providing a service. And that service is doing a lot of good. So for your recent energy, you've got the fox. So maybe you're being a bit sneaky or a bit cunning in a situation. This could be work again, it could be work related, or it could be family life. Um, it could be to do with holidays. I get the impression it's to do with holidays. Like maybe you haven't taken some time off and now your ships have come in. Like maybe you've done something clever with a work rotor and now it's really benefiting you. I'm not sure. I mean, the weather's nice, so maybe you've managed to get a day off and enjoy the sunshine. That would be good. And in your recent future, you have the mouse upside down. So the mouse is a shy animal. It's an animal that likes to kind of hide and keep itself to itself. Um, you're going to be the opposite of that. So we can expect loud and boisterous in your face. Maybe if you have taken a holiday from work, maybe now's the time to just let the work slide off. But not uh, you don't necessarily need to relax in order to let it go. You can you can just get out there and be yourself and party. Get it off that way. Have a barbecue by yourself or with your family, whoever's in your household. <laughs> go for a jog whilst also being two meters away from someone. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do to relieve that stress and tension, but it sounds like that's what's in your future. So best advice for Gemini. We have the hyena. Okay, so try not to cheat. It, it's clear that you've been cunning in some respect uh, from the fox coming up, but this hyena is reminding you it's fine to be clever. There's no problem with being clever, but don't get too clever. <laughs> you know, calm as a bitch. <laughs> okay, hope that helped. Let's move on now to Cancer. What have we got for Cancer? For the month of June. Okay, let's see. I don't know why, but I left all of these ones upside down on my lap. I don't know if you can see. Maybe you can. Well, that says to me right out the door that you all in your crab shells. <laughs> so for your recent past, you've got the dragonfly. So dragonflies are aerial predators, so I'm thinking that you're you've got your sharp, you've got your wits about you. Something's making you feel friend. I don't know what exactly, but yeah. Not in a you can't handle this kind of way, in a I just don't want to deal with this kind of way. But I think you've had to be sharp and have your wits about you. And kind of, you know, like how dragonflies they kind of go when they're flying you've had to do that something in your life has been affecting you you've had to just quickly be like okay we're going this direction now um for your current energy you have the scorpion upside down that's interesting because i think in the past in response to this dragonfly type situation that's making you go like ping 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 you may have turned to aggression you may have just got that tail out and bam stung whatever was pissing you off but this time you haven't done that You've resisted the urge to meet this challenge with anger and aggression and spite. And that's really big of you. I feel like this talks of progress here. And in the future, you have the snake. The snake talks of many different things. Um, 
you can see from this card here the snake is obviously in a circle so it's like this continuous commitment I don't think this is a commitment to another person I think in this case this is a commitment to yourself whatever you've done or are doing will lead to you feeling more whole and together and committed in the future and the snake's a very patient animal it can like lie in wait it's not needing to chase its prey it'll just sit there for ages and I think this shows you developing some patience in your own life as well. So best advice, cancer. So we've got the eagle upside down. <laughs> so how would I describe this? Would you know what I meant if I said don't be too America about this? So yeah, you've, you've, you've succeeded. Something has worked in your favour. You've really grown in an area and you've done, you've done a great job and you should be proud of that. But don't get overly cocky. Don't be like yeah i did that so now i can do anything you know <laughs> sometimes it's nice to remember two out of three ain't bad <laughs> all right i hope that helped let's move on now to leo okay leo for the month of june let's see what we've got Oof. so your recent past you have the whale in reverse some Rather, I mean, Leos in general are quite oof, big, enigmatic. I think I know what I mean. Maybe you don't know what I mean. Anyway, they're quite big, courageous, um, bubbly people, generally. Now, that's not to say you are. It's just a lot of Leos tend to be like that, in my experience. Um, and the fact that you're the whale upside down suggests to me that you're not doing that at the minute. You're acting a bit out of character. Uh, I don't know why, but maybe you're just not feeling yourself at the minute. Then for your current energy, you have the starfish upside down. Again, this, this says to me that you're not feeling your uniqueness. You're not enjoying being yourself. You're not embracing your own individuality. And you might also not be embracing your emotions. So if you're feeling strongly about something, address it. Your future energy is the lion. That's great. Um, oops, the starfish fell on the floor. <laughs> so th this is a very Leo card. Um, again, pride, courage, things like that. I think this just basically symbolises you coming into your own a lot more, being yourself, being more positive, and coming out of whatever dark place you've been in. Okay, let's have a look at best advice for Leo. Ah, would you look at that? We have the hawk upside down again. So again, don't don't go to America on this. <laughs> um, you're gonna come into your own and be yourself again. That's great, and it, it's always good to ground yourself and remind yourself how great you are. But don't start to get cocky or overconfident. Don't shove who you are and what you're about in other people's faces. Just be content with who you are and, you know, if someone asks, feel free to tell them. If they don't ask, then you don't need to go and tell everyone who you are and what you're about, do you? As long as you know, that's that's enough. So I hope that helps. Let's go now to Virgo. Quite like Virgo. One of my best friends is a Virgo. She's cool. Okay, <laughs> Virgo for June. Let's have a look. So we have the phoenix in reverse, so I think resisting change, but I don't know how positive this change would have been for you anyway. I think maybe, you know, everything's a cycle, so maybe this was a cycle where change could have happened, but it didn't this time, and that's okay, it will come round again. Then for your current energy, you've got the lamb, so maybe you're feeling very vulnerable at the minute, you're, I don't mean to sound offensive, but sheep mentality, you're following the pack. That's fine. If you need to do that for a bit and just switch off and, you know, follow for a while instead of being leader, then do that. Embrace that. That's fine. And for your future, you have Vulture upside down. So you're not going to be embracing this predatorial scavenger energy anytime soon. You're pretty content with what you've got and you're not feeling the urge or the need to try and grab, grab, grab more than what you have. Um let's get some advice for Virgo. So you have the hummingbird in reverse. As you'll have seen hummingbirds are like 
because they're busy. They're like really fucking busy. Don't be busy. <laughs> Don't just busy this all away. Like I say, I have a good friend that's a Virgo and she has a habit sometimes of um, whenever she's feeling down, she'll just make herself super busy. It's like, I can't be upset if I'm so busy. I can't think about how sad I am. But the problem is that putting off that emotion and not dealing with that, it comes back to bite you. So just try and address anything that you're feeling as it comes up rather than putting it off and making yourself too busy to deal with it. I'm going to pause here again. Sorry. <laughs> but it was just the same thing happening again. I really ought to clear some more space off of my phone. <laughs> okay. So wait, wait, wait. We were doing Libra for June. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. I read them as they are. So we have the Phoenix in reverse. This is very similar to Virgo's. So we've got resisting change here again. I don't feel like it's in the same way though. I feel like the change you're resisting is there's... You need to adapt to how the world is at the minute and I think you're resisting that. I think you're wishfully hoping that things will get back to normal and I don't think they will. And I think it's... I think you're finding it difficult to come to terms with that. And I think that's why you're feeling the lamb, which is vulnerability. I think you're feeling vulnerable because certain things that you had control over you don't anymore, and certain things that you used to do with your life you can't anymore. But unlike Virgo, you have in your recent future, recent future, in your future, that's gonna be, ah. Uh, ignore me um you have the vault to the right way up so i think you are looking for something more i don't know what that more is whether it's more in the way of the connections that you currently have or you're looking for uh maybe a, a, a future connection that you can really invest in and go deep with it might not be a connection at all it could be just a bit of communication something about the past and the way that the world used to be, you miss. And it's time to let that go and think of a way around it. So maybe you miss socialising, maybe you miss hanging out with your friends, going to a restaurant, going to the pub. Instead of dwelling on the fact that you can't do that anymore, you need to think of new ways to communicate with the people that you would have communicated if you were still able to go to the pub or the restaurant or whatever, or wherever you want to go. Um, best advice for Libra. Wow. Hummingbird. <laughs> but this is the right way up. So get busy, get creative, get thinking about what kinds of things you can do in order to make your life more positive. Okay. I'm sure that there'll be somebody somewhere that claims that this is because I didn't shuffle very well. It's true, I'm not shuffling very well. I have quite a painful like scar on my finger that I did quite recently so my shuffling is kind of crappy at the minute but I am a big believer in like messages from the universe so if the same cards come up twice to me they come up twice okay so now we've moving on to Scorpio Oof. my sister's a Scorpio Scorpio for June, let's see. Right. So we've got the Cobra the right way up. You have been fiery. This doesn't surprise me at all. Like, my sister is so fiery. You've been fiery, you've been out there, you've been, you know, anytime something's niggled at you, you've been like, BAM, shut up. <laughs> very aggressive, very, you know, on the offensive. Uh, so that's your recent past. For your current energy, you have the fish upside down. So the fish talks about being mellow and being in a school and being in emotional, not like a literal school, I mean like a school of fish. 
being emotional and kind of just letting the tide take you wherever but you're not doing that you're the reverse of the fish you're like nope rigid i ain't moving i'm not shifting i'm not changing anything about anything and if you want me to change well you can just f off um um for your future i see the horse so that's talking about you coming into some healing some work something is going to take your mind off this and make it a bit more balanced because i think you're very angry at the minute and anger's got its place sure but sometimes you just need to focus on working hard and healing whatever you're going through so let's have a look at best advice for you so we've got the nightingale so the nightingale is like let's get up early and go to work you might not be able to literally go to work yet but that's not going to stop you working on yourself and your dreams and things like that you know maybe you've always wanted to learn a language do it maybe you've always wanted to get into cross stitch or learn code now's the time to embark on a new thing be the nightingale get up not literally at dawn but at dawn and get stuff done you can get up literally at dawn if you want okay <laughs> hope that helps scorpio Let's go now to Sagittarius. So this is Sagittarius, month of June. Let's have a looky. Okay, so for you we have the hawk the right way up so you have been pretty vocal about something pretty out there pretty not yeah domineering domineering you've been like okay hey guys i'm on the scene here's what we're gonna do you need to do this you need to do that this is how it's gonna go down and i'm in charge here uh, so that's your recent past your current energy is very similar it's the lion energy so you're very proud of how you've performed you you're standing up for yourself you're being prideful um you're not backing down um yeah you're you've just got that fire in your belly at the moment and your future energy is this hummingbird so we're still talking about this communication and standing up for yourself but i think if you're not careful where this communication goes it's just because gonna become chitter just noise just this is me this is what i am this is what i'm about blah 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 you know there's a time for strong words and then there's a time to stop <laughs> um that's what i'm seeing here you need to not just carry on you know okay best advice for sagittarius so you've got the upside down vulture so vulture in reverse so that's saying don't push it you know don't become a scavenger you've got what you needed to get you've, you've you've won you've done it well done congratulations stop now don't carry on pushing and pushing and pushing because it's not going to get you anywhere good so i hope that helps let's move on to capricorn and i think that's that's the last one so capricorn for june right okay so we've got the cheetah it was in reverse i just pulled it up the wrong way in reverse <laughs> so we're talking about slow something's dragging um if this was a normal tarot reading and i wasn't using animal cards this is probably represent the hanged man um yeah maybe it's you dragging your feet maybe it's the situation i'm not too sure but something sucks or has sucked because this is your recent past then you have the shark also upside down so there's no blood in the water today you're not being ferocious and a keen predator you're kind of been like mm, nah that's not for me <laughs> i'm cool where i'm at i don't need to be killing seals or penguins or whatever <laughs> well maybe you are if you're from like the Thoreau Islands or something I suppose you've still got to eat that's not the point um <laughs> yeah you're not being aggressive you're not 
taking control, you're not going out there and hunting. You're just sort of sitting on your laurels. And for your future, you've got this elephant. So yeah, in the future I think you will um, just become a little bit bigger, not literally, but kind of like uh, vibrationally. Um, and have more courage, have a bit of fire in your belly, and have the strength and motivation and courage to move forward with whatever it is that you're waiting for. So, yeah. It looks like maybe there's something you're putting off, but now you're going to get on with it. So best advice for Capricorn. Upside down eagle. So, the eagle talks of like, pride and um, communication and things like that but because it's reversed for you I think you do need to be more proactive more prideful more communication get out there do stuff go it's no good shying away and being passive all the time now is your time to go and do stuff and things I hope that helps and that's that's it that's yeah I'm sorry if um, there's been like quite a lot of background noise whilst I've been doing this. I'm sorry that it stopped a few times. But I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you would like me to do more tarot readings dressed up, let me know because I like dressing up. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it like every day. But you know, once a month, something like that, I could, I could dress up and tell your fortunes. Ooh. I don't know. Okay. I'm just being weird now, sorry. Alright, well, yeah, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, it was helpful. And um, I'll maybe see you again. Bye. Bye.